four more set points for Johnson. And my first set, service out. And there it is, and a fourth set. What a fire. Fire. Somehow, a set to the good. Congratulations, Rocket Views, warning, Miss Pegu. Bit too good. Jodie Burridge, I think. Do you, want to do, do you want me to dry it? Do you need to dry it? No, we can wipe it if it's dangerous, but it, you cannot say, I don't want to play. That's a difference, right? You have to be nice and calm
the issue is the humidity causing the sweat and the sweat causing the surface to become slippery. Moisture. Too good. Two break points saved. You can see a zero. But you see the clock. I mean, what do you want me to do? If the clock is with zero. I know, but it's not like I fast forward the clock. You can see a zero. I'm sorry, but I did not take 20 seconds to walk from here to there. But what do you want me to do? I don't know. She can't save this one. That's a double break of serve. Jody Burridge is arguing that there should be a little bit of leeway when it comes to the shot clock to allow the players to towel themselves down, to go to their corner, get the towel in these hot, humid and sweaty conditions. Feeling that she perhaps hasn't been given that leeway and that the surface is dangerous and that the time violations that she's received, two of them now, one was receiving, one was serving, are unjust. That is her complaint. That's why she's called out the supervisor, Shu Chen. It's on this very important point. Ostapenko with the correct challenge. Very eagle eyed there. It's about the timing. I'm here. 
And I agree with you with that. I'm not arguing that she hit the ball back. I know she hit the ball back. However, the timing of the ball. All about the timing of the call. Yelena wants the point, but the umpire's suggesting now you've got to play a let. Well, she did make the ball back. But now the umpire's suggesting that the timing of the return was put off by the Lions judge calling. Understandably. So it'll be a second serve. Because I don't see the benefit of those forehands. And it sets a break point. So Siegmund's unhappy because the surf clock started while she's holding the towel, not before she got the balls. And what she's appealing for is a bit of sympathy because she played three and a half hours this morning. And it's just drifted over the sideline and for the second time. And there it is. We knew it was coming. Oh, Got to be careful she doesn't slow down Maria's serving pace too much either. Very much ready to go. Sigmund. Yeah, I can understand why Sigmund's frustrated here. The ball kid was still running back when she delivered the second serve. She's moving okay there. Yeah, they got there in time. Oh, and then when there's a chance to find a pass. Yes. Well, this has been brewing for some time. Maria is upset because she's ready to serve and Sigmund isn't ready to receive. that Maria Sakari you can understand the frustration well, this 
is a tense moment. Friendly trying to defuse the situation. It's starting to get a little bit heated. Down seven. A big shout from Sakari there. And well. oh, there was the chance to make the pass. Oh, she. Again, she looks distraught. She, I just wonder whether she's totally comfortable out there. She's been, she just wonder whether this is beginning to take its toll in some way. Code violation, right for abuse warning, Miss Costume. Yeah, not surprising that that was. Oh, oh it's an overall. And Papa Mikhail will not be pleased, as you can tell by the expression. It's frustrating, and whether the call was right or wrong, she knows in her heart of hearts that the umpire is not going to then overrule her own overrule. 15 all. Yeah, second serve was a little short. She felt that was in. She feels that the decisions have gone against her today, but she didn't hit it. She nearly stopped that rally. She is distraught. Well, she clearly felt the ball was long, and I have to say, I can sympathize with it, but you can only go with the calls that are made. She feels that every single possibly was a bad call, but the argument will continue, but it won't change the scoreline. If there's no overall instantly, there's nothing you can do about it. She has to channel this anger now into positivity and stop a fourth match point. That is she knew with a couple of chances to lead for the first time today. She takes it the first attempt to 5-4 lead for the Chinese superstar. One lead, five, five, not pleased again, believes another ball was out. Oh, it's just wide. The racket of Yulia Putinseva gets the treatment. What a first set that was. Highly competitive. Oh, it's called in. It did seem long, didn't it? No, we're not. It's just wide from Wang Jinyu. 6-5 hold, put and save this time has earned herself at least a tiebreaker. Well, that did look wide. <laughs> not to the umpire, no, not to the lines person. Oh! 
too good from Wang Xinyu. That is a gutsy victory. An incredible one break of serve in it. It's the world 39 who comes through on skates. She's into her Say that it's told, I think, to exit in the other door. Oh, yes. And for the right ball once it's more, Sri on tech. It is. Sviantek does it after yes. Vondrusova. Thank you. I thought we had breaks for a reason, you know. Yeah, but that time on the floor, the clock is not yours, it's hers to serve. So she was ready to serve. You were standing there for another five, seven seconds for no reason. She Oh, that was interesting to hear. I mean, Igor Sviotek.